And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Shandala. In the last episode, I was unable to move my character. Ah, there we are. <laughs> In the last episode, we started this game and we had two fights which went quite alright. Uh, I skipped the second fight, or at least on camera I skipped it. I'm probably gonna do that for uh, a bunch of the fights, mostly um, fights against duplicate enemies, you could say. There's gonna be a lot of uh, fights in this game and, well, we're gonna be here for a really long time otherwise, so I'll probably skip some or most of the fights. Anyway, we have no interesting cards here. We're heading south uh, to deliver a quest in order to get a... Uh, was it black uh, cr uh, crystal or talisman? What's it called, I believe? And another life point of mana link. So I also edited the deck a little bit. I added some of the items we got uh, last time, which such as the giant badger, which is quite a good defensive card. As well as Fark, which is a really, really handy spell. It could this will probably save my life at some point. So, we're heading south. I don't want to fight that Dusk Guardian, because he's really, really powerful. Now, this is Andor's Hall, yeah. This is where we have to be, and I hope... Well, that's fortunate. We could buy the Black Knight here. Uh, for 85 gold in return for a uh, for a talisman and a life point, I think we'll do that. The rest of the items aren't that interesting, so I think we'll have to leave and there we are. We're rewarded with a black amulet and the mana link. Now we could trade these black amulets here for blue cards. Um, well, let me quickly... No, that doesn't really matter. We're not going to use blue cards, but I don't want to waste this opportunity because we might want to use some blue cards at some point. Now, we get a clue here for one of the magic items which we could buy in Blood Sand Tavern. Not too interested at that at the moment because, well, uh, we don't have any money. <laughs> Let's fight this guy. He's probably a bit too tough for us right now, but we'll see. Oh, well, he has eight health points, so that's not too bad. Uh, he allowed us to go first, which is fine, I guess. Now we'll be able to pick up the grizzly bears next turn, which is quite nice. We'll at least have some damage potential. Let's hope he doesn't have a terror card in play. He's thinking about it. And he gets the Black Knight out. That's annoying. First strike um, means when, when creatures are normally pitted against each other, they deal damage simultaneously. So these would uh, kill each other. My two damage point would kill his two defensive points and vice versa. Now, because he has first strike, he gets to attack first. So before i be able to do any damage, he'd have killed me already. Protection from white means that he... Uh, He's immune to any uh, white cards. He looks a bit like a uh, thief or Vendetta, I just noticed. Hmm. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is annoying because I'm not really able to do anything. Now, what are you gonna cast? Another Black Knight, probably. Yup. It's like. 10 of them in his deck or something. Uh, I will cast a fairy dragon over the, the giant badger because we have some defense and we want to be able to kill him at some point. Uh, this is unfortunate. Um, I will block one of them and I will... I won't sacrifice my grizzly bears yet because this turn I'll be able to attack with them. I might be able to win actually, let's see. Uh, so that's three points of damage. I have one, two, three, four. Ah, we'd be one short. Alright. 
Uh, let's cast the giant badger now and the wall of wood. Because we have some defense. Now we will block with the wall and with the badger. We should become a 4 4 now. There we are. And I managed to take out one of the knights, which is really fortunate. Now he'll summon skeletons. It's not too bad. We will probably win this turn. He'll block my grizzly bears with skeletons. We'll be able to do. Yeah, four points of damage. That should be fine. And there we are. And then we'll cast Hurricane, which has an X cost. And an X is basically how many uh, points of damage or mana you pump into there. So uh, if I pump in. So we've paid for it. And I'll pump in one, two, three, four points. So it'll deal four damage to each creature with flying and each player. Now this will kill my fairy dragon, but it should also kill him. There we are. And we're done. That was a lucky draw because black knights are fairly scary to fight against. The living wall is a creature I would like to pick up, so I'll take the cards. And I won a black amulet. It's really fortunate. Let's quickly save the game here. I think I was heading to this town. Maybe? There we are. Now it looks like we're in uh, black territory here, so we're not getting any decent cards. Um, this guy wants to take a message west to his brother in Crack Haven, and we'll get a black amulet for it. Let's just do this. Amulets are decent. I will probably start selling off some cards. These aren't too useful, uh, as well as the Nightmare card. Brood is a terrible card, as well as the Rock Slide. The rest will probably keep for now. I will put the wall in, and I'll take... That's quite expensive, but I'll take the Wall of Wood out. Because this is a better card. Uh, I'll pick up some food here. Because it's not too expensive in this town. And we should be heading to Craghaven, which is not too far away. In exchange for another... No, I'm stuck. <laughs> right, let's just take out you. You won the toss, and they'll start first. Alright. We have plenty of mana on our hands, which is not too bad, as well as be able to cast Wild Growth this turn. Uh, Wild Growth is an enchantment which is cast upon land, and whenever it is tapped you gain an, an additional mana, which is quite a useful card to have, especially at the start of the game. It will speed up your, uh, your opening hand. Now, Throne of Bone is a healing artifact. And we'll be able to pick up our badges now. The Will of Wisps are really decent tanks, you could say. They can't take too much damage, only one point, obviously. Uh, but they have regenerate and flying, which means they can block a lot of creatures in the game. And she's keeping her mana untapped, which means I, I'd be able to attack now, but they'll block anyway and regenerate, so yeah. Uh, let's see. Do I want to pick up the Vipers? Probably. Uh, we won't attack yet. We might attack next turn, depending on what she casts. She casts the clay statue. Which is fine. It's fine. Um, we'll pick up both of these. Now, am I going to attack? He is probably going to block me. But I will kill his cards. And he's not blocking me. Now, the Viper does, um, does poison counters. Uh, this is an, an effect from way back in 4th edition, they don't use this anymore, I believe. Um, 
these are these little spider logos here when the enemy gets 10 poison counters they automatically lose the game now for weaker enemies like this is it's not really that useful but later on especially against the uh, the final boss poison counters are a decent strategy to use provided you can get the enemies past them uh am i blocking i probably am we'll regenerate but that doesn't really matter and it looks like we're gonna just hurricane again <laughs> um, let's see if we can just do some regular damage here and then uh, yeah they'll regenerate both of them doesn't matter so we just need to do two points of damage we'll overkill by one depending on what she wants to do maybe two All right. and there we are um, these cards are not too good, and what do we have here? These are red, black, and thing. I'll just take them for now. We can always sell them. So, we got the black amulet, which is uh, a decent pickup. We can use them later on to uh, get some items. Uh, let me just check the cards, which are obviously obviously for us quite terrible so bad pickups for now I think we'll have to head back up north because this is a forested area and I believe the chances for green cards are greater over there so we'll probably be making our way north I'll just quickly check my recording because I have no idea how long I've been recording so far so one second please alright that's not too bad 12 minutes in I believe so I know my timer now, forgot to set it. And. Ah, yeah. game froze again. So, let's just head up back north. Is this a special area? No, it's just. We haven't found any goodies. There we are, one of the goodies. And we found an enchantment. Alright. And another goodie over here. Let's see what we pick up. We happen upon a thief's hideout. And we receive 500 gold. That's a really decent pickup. Now, what kind of quest do we have? A message to Mandrake Hill for a mana link. We'll definitely pick that up. Mana links are obviously some of the more useful. No, I do not want to fight you. Go away. Go away. I'll fight this one. Now, let's see. Why is this on my screen? <laughs> anyway. We'll cast the yells. Yep. See if we can uh, deal with her as easily as we could with the uh, the previous one. Got some forest action going on there. Um, we have three mana courtesy of the elves, which act as a mana source. But we'll probably save it for now and cast the uh, script sprites. We'll attack for now because she doesn't have anything useful. She'll cast the Throne of Bone, which is alright. We'll pick up the uh, the Grizzly Bass as well. Now currently our deck is mostly made up of small cheap creatures, which is, at least for the start of this game, it's decent. Uh, we'll be able to do fast damage early on. And he cast Drain Life on my Grizzly Bass will probably get destroyed, yes, and she'll gain two life back from it. That's unfortunate. Well, well, can be helped. We'll pick up the, uh, the giant badgers. And continue where we left off, which was dealing damage. Now, having small creatures means you probably be able to uh, do some damage early on. Um, unfortunately, as the combat drags on, the enemy will be able to cast bigger and bigger creatures, and you'll basically be stuck with uh, well I wouldn't say crap but yeah you'll be stuck with some with a couple of crappy creatures <laughs> now we could pick up the boss but we'd have to tap our elves um, we might want to do that or or we do this 
Now, if he'll block my badger, I can easily regenerate him, so that doesn't really matter too much. I'll regenerate and tap my elves for mana. His creature is gone because he had, did not have the uh, the mana required to regenerate. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. This is going to be annoying, but it comes into play tap, so she can only use it starting from the next turn, and we should be able to have her this turn. Let's see. Yeah. Right on the buzzer. That's very good. Um, I will probably take the clue. I'd like to get regrowth, which should be a green card if I'm not mistaken. So we'll take the dungeon clue. Yeah. Return target cards from your graveyard to your hand. This is a really good card. Now, the cave of the ice worm is somewhere on the map and we know it contains small black creatures. That's all we know for now and I really have to save really quickly now because we'll probably lose to this guy. Uh, let's see. This is a genie and they usually have really good decks. Uh, we know this is a multicolor deck because he uses a bayou which is both a swamp and a forest. Now, I'm not too sure if abilities like forest walk affect that. Can't really remember. Let's see. Are you gonna cast anything? The amulet. That's annoying. When uh, when this creature dies, the uh, the enemy will get two life back. So I think we might be a bit in over our head at the moment. Just cast a wall of ice, so he won't be able to attack us for now. All right. Now we're not able to pick up anything yet, but we will cast wild growth on the forest here. Um, regeneration doesn't matter yet, so let's continue here. All right. That's not too bad. Two creatures I had in game aren't the best creatures around. And we'll be able to either pick up the Duskwood Boars and regenerate. That's six mana. Should have that, right? Two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. No, this is seven mana. No, never mind. Um, we'll pick up the Crawl Worm for now. Unfortunately, I don't know the decks anymore, so I can't really uh, anticipate what he's doing. And this is unfortunate as well, Sanjay Vampires are really good creatures, but I will be able to take him out with a Hurricane. I'll damage myself as well though, but mm, we might want to do that. Let's see. Let's do that after this. Um, yeah, this is a tough one. I am mean, going to cast regeneration first on my crawl worm. Let's see if she wants to block. No, she doesn't. Now we should be able to. That's just three points of damage. That's unfortunate. Um, I'll just cast the Grizzly Bears in. We will probably be able to take out our enemy next turn. Unless he does something really weird for now. For each one damage deals, enchant the creature gains one life. Like that. And all of a sudden, he has eight life points. Hmm. Now. We should still be able to. Let's see. Alright. Four, so if we deal four points of damage, which is one, two, three, four, we should win. He has some mana left, but 
I don't oh. think that matters. And there we are. Ah, that was a tough one. <laughs> and we were really lucky. Um, I'll take these cards because these are all rare and they'll be worth quite a bit of money. And we want an extra card here. The uh, Junun Afrit. Which is a decent, decent card. Alright, we'll save the game here. And apparently I cannot type. I thank you guys for watching and I shall see you in the next episode. Bye bye.